Hey guys, Joe Sib here. Today we're doing another video, guys. And today we're doing something cool. That means today is going to be a good day. That means today we're doing the Peugeot SUV range. Like the Peugeot 2008, which is a five seater. 3008 is another 5 seater and the five, the 3008 has got quite a big door the 3008 the 5008 I was going to say this has a longer rear door than the 5008 that one has a longer rear door than the 3008 and the 2008 is the baby the 3008 is the middle range the 5008 is the seven seater. They're three different models, but the two thousand and eight dashboard and the three thousand and eight dashboard are the same. The two thousand and eight is a little different. I just want to mention this of the three thousand and the five thousand and eight. This is really fun and I like it as well. The rev counter goes the wrong way round. <laughs> it is funny, I love it guys, I do. The rev counter you use your dials going one way, but it doesn't in the in the three thousand and eight and the five thousand. They go the other way around, and I love that. But let's get on with the video right now. Right, guys, here's the Peugeot two thousand and eight SUV. Nice car. I like this one as well. This is a Peugeot two thousand and eight SUV, and I'm not going to say that through the rest of the video. SUV for each model. Because each one I'm going to show you are SUVs. It's a 2008, which is the baby. Still, loads of room up the rear. Look in the rear. Loads of room. I won't be able to fit in there, though, but guys, there's a lot of room back there. Loads back there. Then you look in the boot, some loads of space. Here's a little cargo cover. See that lifts up. Yeah, I'm just gonna push this back down. There you go. See guys look, under here should be a spare wheel. Yes, good spare wheel under there. Yeah, great spare wheel carrier. These Peugeots are really good cars. Guys, here's your front passenger seat. If I'll show you this one more. Go. See, look, same on that side. See, now let's get to the 3008. I was going to show you inside this and we're going to have a look at the 3008. Right guys, we've got a Peugeot 2008. Let's unlock it. Oh, it's already unlocked, actually. Tights. I'll show you inside, what's inside of it. Very tight squeeze to get in. I'm going to pause until I got into this thing. Pausing right now. Right guys, he's inside the vehicle. There's a keyhole. That's cool. Let's show that again. What do them dials do? Watch this. They go right to the black and then back to naught. And you turn it again. It starts it up. It's already out of gear. Put the driver side window down. <sighs> right. You got dual climate control. You got 20. You got your dual climate control. You got your dual climate control. I just. So yeah. Yeah. 
There you go. You have all your jewels over your laptop. Your drive modes. I don't know what that is down there. I don't know. Where is I'm trying to figure this thing myself actually. You have your nice ham right there. Well, you have your rear view mirror. And there's a the light there. LED light. So yeah. So guys. So guys, this is a great car. See so look, this is a nice GT line as well. You have your loaded buttons down there. Your little speed in the centre. It's got 10,584 miles on it. Zero point four on the trip. So yes, this is all nice soft touch material. Your horn, but I'm not gonna hit the horn though. Wanna listen? I'm gonna give you get a slight rev before we go. Look. So guys, there you go. I gave you a little tour around there. And now we're gonna go and have a look around, but before I go around, I'm just gonna shut the vehicle off. Save fuel. It's very tight. So guys. So I'm gonna pause until I get out. Right guys, here's your boot space. Here's your little cargo cover that lifts up. Oh, somehow. But guys, I'll let you have a look around the 3008 now. Right guys, here's the Peugeot 3008. Quite good condition. Let you have a walk around a bit. That's nice body. Let's we'll see what size ties these are. They're 225 55R18, so these are 18 inch alloy wheels. With your disc brakes and your brake caliper there, <laughs> they look, look like electric calipers to me. Yeah, it's in a great condition. And this is the boot space, great space. Nice lights at the back. They're really nice. I like this car actually. Don't think I'd ever afford one, but. But guys, I'm just here for the day, guys. If you are wondering. Right guys, I'm going to show you the 3008 SUV. Looks like it's got a couple of scratches there. Noticed. But I'm not showing you the inside anyway. This one's a manual. Just all... This is what Uncle Rob has, a 3008. Right. The interior, nice interior. This is so. Let's start start it up. Oh. 
There you go. There you go. Start it up. Boots open, they're all open at this. I'm at a Peugeot dealership if you're wondering. Right guys. Through there. That is where you scroll through the different gauges. Navigation. Dials, you get an option for dials, the one I preferably prefer. prefer. And you've probably noticed immediately the rev counter goes under. I'm going to give it a rev to show you. This is a diesel, if you're wondering. So, yeah, it's a nice, really nice car here. It's a nice gear stick, it's got a six speed manual. Here's all the nice front seat as well. I didn't show you the rear knee 2008. Here's the reason why I didn't do it. It's because it's such a tight space, guys. Here's the reason why I didn't do it. So, guys, here you have a thing that's a rear child, but I'm not going to interfere. See, look. God knows how you. There's your volume to the radio. Because I'm not meant to record music options. So you get loads of options. I'm not really going to go through the options here. There's a fan. You get your change of your temperature. It has dual temperature. You can have 20, and I can have it on low. Yeah, if you want it off, which I'm going to turn off for now. Just look in the glove, in the glove compartment, in the armrest compartment. It can gig loads of space. This is like a cooler, I think. Huh. See, look, that's a nice cooling. Keep your drinks cool in there. So, guys, this is a great car. So, you can adjust your volume on the wheel. You get all the phone options. There's your hazards, obviously. Yeah. You have all of it in music options and all that. And there's your indicator stalk. Yeah. So guys, it's a great car. You can totally tell it's a very hot day today. Yeah. I'm just gonna pause a sec. Right guys, it's a great car. You probably immediately notice the revs go opposite way than the speedo, which is kind of cool. But you do have a couple of extra gauge options. So you scroll through this. Personal. Minimum. What's minimum even? That's the minimum, but you have no gauges at all. And you scroll up personal. Navigation. And that's how it was before, so that's how I'm going to leave it. But guys, now I'm going to go and have a, let you have a little walk around this car. So let's get another. 
So right guys, alright you have a look at them. The door and boot open when they that. I'm gonna take the key out. Very tight. Yeah. Right guys, I'll let you have a look in the back. That's the back seat. Hey guys, here's the back seat. You know, if you see in the middle that you have your armrest that drops down. And look, you need your little ski hatch that you can go into the, into the boot. 5008 doesn't have the armrest by the way. Which you're probably going to see. Look guys, I can sit back here fine. See guys, look, I can I'm 5'10, I can sit back here alright. I'm 5'10. Yeah. So guys, we're going to move on to the 5008 right now. Right guys, here's the Peugeot 5008. <sighs> Looks a bit like a silver exterior. What wheels have these got? 225 55R18s. So these are 18 inch alloy wheels. It's a really nice car. This is. I'll let you have a look around. That's the front, I like the front. I really like this car actually. I like it, actually. I really like it, this car. Especially the, the seventh seat in the rear. This is what's different about it. Even though I'm gonna show this again, but look. These fold back, with you? And then you pull on that, which will fold up the, the rear seat. Yes. See, this is a seven-seater. See, guys. See, guys. Got seven-seater in the rear. And let's go and show you the inside. Right guys, here we are, approaching the 5008. Same inside. Inside. Very same inside the 5008 too. Same manual gearbox. This car does have two keys if you're wondering, yes it does. You turn in the ignition. Oh, you done. One minute turn, I'm just gonna pause a minute. I'll just switch this one on, same inside. And let's start this vehicle. Same. Switch off the AC. It's got fourteen thousand miles, five hundred seventy. It's got fourteen thousand miles, five hundred seventy-six on it. Same, same car. It's exactly the same. So I just want to show you. They're both feet. I'll just give it a little rev. Don't want to rev it too high though. It's exactly the same. In the back it's different. 
Same in the sun visor. I forgot to show that in the 3008. Same storage compartment. This one looks maybe a little lower. I'm not sure. Might just be me. So yes, it's actually the same car, guys. In the front. I'll go and get in the back. He's very different in the back, though, guys. I'm going to go and switch to the back seat now. I'm just going to show you the rear seat of the, the 5008. I notice it's got wider doors at the back. It's got an extra two seats. Guys, you don't have an armrest. I'm just going to slide the seat back. I think, yeah, you lift it from up here. I don't know how you get it up. Um, I don't know. There you go. If you lift that lever, you can fold it down so you can get into the rear. But yeah, in my case. Here, guys. In the boot, there's one already up. So I'm going to demonstrate as I'm lifting the other side up. If you fold this back. Folds up, fold that. I think to fold it back down. Yeah, guys. So, guys, I'm just gonna fold this back down. And I'll come back to you guys. We're going to end off this video. Please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give this video a like.